Okay, what we need to do is to put these two clutch packs uh, together as they are uh, when they're inside the transmission. And that is the forward clutch cylinder needs to spline down into this direct clutch. So we'll put that in there and we'll keep spinning around until it's fully seated, just like that. Okay, and now we want to flip it upside down like this. And I need to put the uh, number two thrust washer on the stator support. Remember, find the two holes that, that it lines up and fits nice and flush. I've put a little bit of Vaseline on it to, to uh, kind of glue it in place. Now I want to invert the uh, pump and place it down into the two clutch packs or down into the two cylinders. All right, and I just keep wiggling around until it gets by all those slip rings, just like that. Now we need to make a, another quick check. What we want to determine is how much number one thrust washer thickness to put in. The number two thrust washer I used happened to be a 75 thousandths of an inch thrust washer. And what I want to do, I want to introduce the number one thrust washer that will go in there to take up the slack without actually lifting the pump, let's say. So I've got uh, this thrust washer right here. It's a fairly thin one. I'll introduce it right in here. And if you can see in the video, there's right much slop in there. What this thrust washer is actually doing is we want to take the play out of this um, direct clutch drum. We want to keep it from walking back and forth. By having a thin a number one thrust washer there, that, that drum is going to move right much. Let's try another one. I have a slightly thicker one. Put that right in here. And that slides in. It's, it actually has maybe just a slight drag, but it's not lifting the pump. If I had so much drag on it that the pump actually lifts up out of the uh, you know, clutch drums, then it's too thick. We don't want this thrust washer to actually take the entire load of the rotating assembly. We want the number two thrust washer to do that. We only want this one in there just to take that slack out of this drum to keep it from walking back and forth. And it looks like that one is going to be the perfect one. If I wind up having to change the uh, number two thrust washer to get my end play right, I'll need to recheck this and uh, again determine which thrust washer in the number one position will uh, fit the bill. Looks like this one's going to be fine here.